All right. Um, I have done a video where I talk about wrestling. I've done like shorter form videos and stuff. I've done like promo type videos. Um, but not really like talking about the business side or um, like deeply going into the characters or anything like that. So I wanted to do like a maybe a short video and something like that. Uh, specifically, the hot topic right now is CM Punk coming back to WWE. Um, cool, you know, cool. Um, there was a lot of bad blood between them. Maybe it still exists. So maybe, as Triple H had said in an interview, was it a little bit, um, I think before or after um, the reward the, 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 the pay-per-view when it came out, um, that Business is business, and you know, you have to just sometimes move past your ego and do what's best for the fans, or at least that's how we put it, right? Um, I would assume it's more along the lines of uh, the parent company that bought the that we probably isn't making as much money as they thought they would, and they have to be using whatever chips they can they will, they, they will invest a certain amount of money to try to make back or recoup their investment right um so i'd say that is probably part of the reason i'm, I'm just i'm, I'm guessing uh, allegedly <laughs> should i say allegedly because i don't want to um but i would assume it's because of that because of uh the cost to benefit there is probably some money that needs to be recouped and bringing in b the biggest stars possible will help with that um so cm punk is one of them now the thing i want to discuss is who would be the others that they would probably want to bring back or new stars that they could potentially uh used to I wouldn't say build well maybe build is a part of it but um, connect with the fans to the level that they will be willing, willing to not just stick around and watch but willing to buy the merchandise and um, shop with the sponsors and all that right um, well I guess one of the biggest names that I would you know, consider that would be Chris Jericho. Um, a little bit of bubbly. Uh, he has reinvented himself time and time again over the years, and he has shown himself to be one of the greatest, even though he, he respectfully, is older now and probably will not be in the business much longer in the capacity of, you know, wrestling. He can he he he's probably skilled enough to be able to manage an entire organization with the well technology he has on everything. Just in case he sees this video, I wanna put that in, all right? <laughs> but um you know that's unlikely. But um now that the door has been opened with CM Punk because, you know, remember that now it's not that's how it was when Vince McMahon was basically the only one who would be in, I could get the final say so. Now that there are other players involved, it may kind of open the door for people like, if not if not just Chris Jericho, um, may, we may now see Dean Ambrose come back. That would be, you know, <laughs> um, that would be a really good pick to bring back. Uh, maybe have the shield as a new type of dynamic, because you now you would have Roman Reigns as the tribal chief and the architect. That's that. I think that that's that's his that's um, Seth Rollins thing, now, right? Ar architect. And maybe Ambrose will come back with a new version of the Unhinged. Uh, one of the biggest losses that 
WWE got right was losing or you know the, the death of Bray Wyatt um, um my condolences to his family right because the amount of creativity that he had you see if if, if the company had been sold um How would I say this now? Alright. You see the the, the, the the level of creativity that he has, because from what I've gathered in interviews I watched with um like Triple H talking about talking about him before he died, right? Um he's saying that he has like like even the firehouse and all that, that's like tamed down versions of the ideas that he has or had. Um but can you imagine if if they had allowed him to become more like a, a creative director for WWE? So just just imagine that kind of mind creating a WWE for the this generation, right? Not just wrestlers and superstars, but building in new elements that would make the package just so much more appealing especially in an era where everybody wants to be um online and be um to uh be what do you call it now influencers or what whatever the whatever the connotation is that they want to be but let's imagine if he had got the opportunity to become the creative director you know with with the Probably a leech, because he'd probably have some really wild ideas that maybe would cost a bit more to, you know, create and all that. But when I think back to the spectacle of what WWE was in the pandemic, of what they had to to change the whole dynamic of what wrestling was perceived to be for decades upon decades, right? having to wrestle with no fans and changing the lighting and introducing the the movie-esque type of uh, storytelling um, when they with the fight like with AJ Styles and uh, Undertaker like those kind of fights like I, I don't think that they should have like completely stopped those because I think 2020 for WWE kind of gave them a way to show that there is more that can be always be added. It's not that you just have to keep it as is all the time. Especially with all the effects and everything that exists. You can create some characters now that are next level. If you're just sprinkling a little bit of inspiration. And it's just a matter of those characters having enough time. Because I still believe that WWE has a lot of good uh, wrestlers that have ideas but there is a risk that the company side of things doesn't really like to take and they're not willing to, to take those risks just like how they were willing to take a risk with John Cena and see how he was able to carry the company for so many years um, they will have to keep relying on you know either outside stars I know this is kind of you know jumping all over the place but if you're following what I'm saying is WWE needs stars that can carry the company and the benefit short term benefit may not be on the balance sheet that, like, that the um, company wants to see but if they bring in the right people that have the ideas then you'll have a better company eventually all right? and you won't have to worry about the money part because it will be flowing in because of the organic reach that the wrestlers will have. Alright. That's the rumble, I guess. <laughs> Alright.